Today, head baseball coach Jay Johnson announced his incoming 2020 recruiting class. He said this is one of the best groups of prospects he has signed. Here's what he had to say about the six pitchers and the five position players. Uh, signing day, uh, this is a really good day for our program. And uh, I feel like we've had a couple good ones in a row. I don't know that any have been as strong as this. Uh, a theme that you'll hear me talk about a lot with this particular group is character. And uh, the longer I'm in coaching, the more that I value that. I mean, the talent speaks for itself. I'm sure you guys have notes on the players that we've signed to this point, and they're what we want them to be as far as talented players. But I think there's some real difference makers in terms of maturity, in terms of character, and the ability not only just to be a great player for us, but make everybody around them better, which uh, has me very excited about the, the direction we're heading with the young players in the program now and then adding these guys uh, to that. You know, when you talk about uh, what attracts players, uh, development attracts players. You know, on, on the hitting side and offensive side, I, I really believe we have one of the best products in, in the country at any conference, at any school. Uh, so Coach Wanaka doing a good job developing our players allowed us to have a reputation to bring in four or five of the best position players in the country in this, this class. And then obviously, big deal adding Coach Yeski and what he brings to the table, you know, from a development standpoint, reputation standpoint. We really closed extremely well on the pitching side of it and following our program, that was a, a big deal. Jacob Berry is the first player on there from Queen Creek High School up in the Phoenix area. I mean, in my opinion, he's the best player in the state of Arizona for this class in 2020. And uh, tremendous hitting ability. He'll look like a middle of the order hitter at Arizona uh, very early on in his career. Uh, incredible bat speed, hitting ability, power, uh, plate discipline. I mean, really checks all the boxes there. Has really improved as an infielder. And this will be a common theme with a few of these guys. I mean, as a special person, as an elite person, uh, that was a, a really big part of the foundation of this class and one of our earlier commits. Uh, Kyle Casper is an outfielder and right-handed pitcher from the San Diego area, Valhalla High School. Uh, again, tremendous athlete, tremendous skill set, one of those guys that you can't wait to coach. I mean, really has it all in terms of baseball tools, arm speed, bat speed, running speed, and, and a guy that I believe his best days are in front of, of, in front of him. Riley Cooper, left-handed pitcher from the Fresno area at, at Clovis North High School. I mean, I have one note, and it's winner. So you can look on his, his high school statistics and find out not many people get the bat on the ball, get on base, or let alone score a run. He has a lot of uh, or high-level pitch ability that I think will play really well in our park, being that it, it, it's big. You know, curveball changeup, but just the competitive winning part uh, really separates Riley. Chase Davis. Uh, to be honest, is, is one of the most physically gifted players that I've ever recruited. Uh, we'll certainly fight extremely hard to keep him from professional baseball. Uh, but just left-handed, athletic, strong, fast, and on top of it has a, a great personality that, that lends itself to success in, uh, in baseball. Ryan Kaiser, pitcher from Valencia High School in Southern California, Really good curveball, really good pitchability, swing and miss stuff, really coming into his own. He's had a great fall and has really developed and, you know, has weapons that he can use, you know, to uh, collect outs, you know, in, in a conference full of really good hitters. Uh, I'm really excited about Ryan and the direction he's, he's heading. Mason Millett, uh, just right down the street at Pima College, right-handed pitcher, uh, originally went to Gonzaga out of high school, um, has developed physically. He's up to 95 miles an hour. I got to give a, a tip of the cap to Coach Hockamy over there because he called me one day this summer and he's like, hey, man, you need to get here like now or you're going to lose him because a lot of his development happened pitching in, in the summer. And so Coach Lon hustled over there and we got him to campus the next day. Uh, TJ Nichols, uh, right handed pitcher and shortstop from the Sacramento area, Oakmont High School. Uh, big time, big time get for our program. Uh, a legitimate. Friday night ace type stuff, uh, high level fastball, uh, swing and miss type breaking ball, uh, has the athleticism to play shortstop uh, if that's what we needed him to do. And just again, an elite competitor. He's like a 1300 SAT, four point bazillion GPA, uh, but also has that right competitive attitude to make him uh, as elite as you can be. So very excited about TJ. 
uh, Javen Pimentel, uh, we just got this weekend. He com came on an official visit and, and committed to us a very athletic left-handed pitcher, uh, which if you're following the trajectory of our, our team and, and program, you know, left-handed pitching is a big need moving forward. And to be able to make matchups the way that we want to give teams different looks. And uh, I mean, this guy's body looks like he's going to be coming into his own in the next couple years. And I'm proud of him with the time difference. He, uh, he got his NLI in time to be announced in this press conference. So that was a good, good start. Chase Silseth, uh, right-handed pitcher, College of Southern Nevada, is a, a four-year, two-year, four-year transfer. He was at the University of Tennessee last year, originally from New Mexico, uh, has the makings of a potential weekend starter right off the bat. Uh, he's one of those guys, when you go and watch him pitch this fall, it's like, man, I wish we had him this year. And uh, that's, that's really exciting. Uh, highly confident kid, just the mound presence really you know, screams like, I'm going to win. And again, I've mentioned that. Uh, character piece with a lot of these guys. Chase really fits into that. Um, last two, and certainly not least, uh, Daniel Susak, uh, catcher from Jesuit High School in Northern California. Um, you know, very excited to get Daniel. I mean, we're obviously going to lose Austin and uh, Matt, or we're anticipating losing both of those guys this year. So the catching position, really important. And uh, to get Daniel this summer was a, a big deal. And uh, luckily, uh, the relationship piece is something that is really important in recruiting. And uh, I coach his brother, Matt, at Nevada. And uh, Coach Yeski uh, coaches uh, brother Andrew at Oregon State several years ago. And, and just the connection with their family, really strong and, and really excited to get Daniel here. I mean, the best way I can say it, I think he's elite offensively and I think he's elite defensively. He's also a really good quarterback uh, at Jesuit. They're in the state playoffs, uh, or excuse me, the section playoffs still this weekend, and he has his team team going um, at a high level. Uh, Nick York uh, from Midi High School in the Bay Area. I mean, plain and simple, I mean, no matter who is on the field, this player is always the best player on the field, in my opinion. He just has that special uh, competitiveness. I mean, he's an elite hitter, can play in the infield, um, just makes everybody around him better and uh, it was a very highly contested uh, recruiting battle that when we were in it, I did not get much sleep. And, um, you know, very excited to add uh, Nick to our program. And uh, that's a name that I know that, that Wildcat fans will, um, you know, will be hearing a lot of over the next, next few years. So, again, the, the talent level is, is what we want it to be. But I think how these guys fit into what we'll be returning in 2021 and then just their maturity and, and attitude and, and character really make this a, a home run, in, in my opinion. And, and I, don't, I don't use those words uh, lightly. So very excited. Obviously, we got to put some work in. Some pro teams will have interest in some of these guys and educate them. But I, I think the family piece and the value of college and the value of Arizona is held really high or in high regard for these families. So I like our chances to to get a lot of them to campus and I'm excited to keep building that relationship and and make sure they're on this campus next fall. As you heard Johnson say character is one of the biggest factors he and his staff look for during the recruiting process. It also happens to be one of the most difficult parts of the evaluations. Uh, it's difficult. I think you just have to have the courage to walk away sometimes when you see the talent that you want but there's a missing piece in there. And we've certainly done that. And over the course of doing this for almost 20 years now, I've certainly missed on, a, on that evaluation as well. But I think this year's team, we're closer to it. Um, you know, I, I've, we've had zero drama off the field, you know, and our players should be commended for that. Um, and uh, I think this group is another level of that. I mean, when you look at Nick York, you know, his, his mom was a – uh, elite softball player at Fresno State, had a great experience there, it has raised three boys that are all high-level kids. I mentioned the Susacks and their family dynamic, you know, TJ Nichols, uh, Kyle Casper is a great kid, Riley Cooper, Jacob Berry. I don't want to leave any of them out, but I feel strongly that all of them are in a real position to be successful here because of the type of people that they are. You know, the baseball thing we can get worked out if the player is in the right frame of mind, and I think these guys will be in the right frame of mind. Johnson mentioned he and his staff are still waiting on a few more decisions, which means the class will continue to grow further into the spring. Stick with us as we bring you more coverage and updates on Arizona baseball. For GoAzyCats.com, I'm Riley Holman.